Hi there, today we're going to be trying out some new makeup from Ulta. I found a lot of new goodies from Essence, so if you're interested in seeing how they wear, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I've already got my Milani eyeshadow primer on. For eyeshadow, we're going in with the latest release from ColourPop, the Precious Metals palette. I love it. There's nothing bad I can say about this. I use this probably on the daily now um, just because it gives you this beautiful range and even going up and down you almost have these complete looks. It reminds me a lot of that Tati palette that she had um, and I, I just love it. I use it literally every day. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the shade Invest Me. Invest in me. And I'm just going to, I'm not doing anything super, super dramatic because we are getting ready to go to the park. Um, but I just want to show you the quality of these shadows. They're excellent. They blend so nicely. The, the shimmer shades are out of this world. And I just love the variety that this offers. And I'm always going to be a glitter shimmer girl. Like, I just, the whole full matte eyeshadow look vibe has just never been my journey. And it probably never will be. So now what I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of 100% and just blend that up here. All right, check these out. I'm going to do four different ones. Hey, look at that. Oh, just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. Okay, so then for all over the eyelid, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this shade. It is you're solid. You are solid. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and just kind of buff that all over. Like I said, this is a very quick and out type of eyeshadow look, but it gives dimension. It really does give impact. I love it. Also, don't mind this right here. That is like literally the, the crease of my eye giving a shadow. I always look at my stuff and think, what is wrong right there? But I really think it's just how my eyelids, because if I do this, it, yeah. Anyway, we're just going to have to move past that. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm going in with Not Basic. Oh, oh so pretty. I keep forgetting I don't have a mirror. And I'm just going to pop this all over. Then... I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue right in the center and I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a lighter color. I'm going to go in with Get Your Coin and pop that right there. Now I could always darken up the outer corner and if I did I would go in with Lucky One. Just tap that color in. Go back in with the blending brush and make sure everything blendy and voila. So now the other thing that I have been doing and oh, I just threw that. I don't know where that went. Okay, this is what I've been doing and I have really been enjoying it. I've been using this, this NYX Vivid Rich Metallic Liner and going right up under my lash line. I think this is called tight lining. I'm not sure. Like just look how much fuller and like almost more vividly blue my eyes look once I do that. Again, this is a metallic liner from NYX. This is Smokin' Topaz. So for mascara, we actually, yes, I have a new one I wanna try. This is from Maybelline, the Lash Sensational Firework Mascara. 360 degree lash by lash impact full flare and this is in brownish black so here's what that looks like let's see now here is one thing though that I have been doing I have been going in with a lash primer the one from Essence I think this is like a newer one from them because they used to have a different little lash primer and this is the actual Lash Princess line. I don't even know where it is. Where's my lash primer? Did it get stuck in here? I don't know where it is, so I guess we're not going to use it today. But generally, I do use that lash primer, and it really does help. So let's take a look. Oh, my. 
let's see what kind of goodness we get from this. Mm, very wet. It's a very wet formula. I'm a little worried about it. Going outside right now while it's hot. Mm, I don't know. It's really wet and I'm almost scared to go back in with another layer because it already almost feels a little bit heavy. I mean, it's, it's wet. Like, I don't know. I'm not a super fan of the consistency so far. All right, so let's go ahead and do brows. I'm going to go in with some clear brow gel from NYX if I can find it. I like to start with this. I think brows is the place that I probably play around with the least. Like, I don't know. Brows are just brows. Complexion products, I'll go ham and try everything. You, you'll always get me with complexion products. Okay, and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Rich Auburn. Ta-da! Hold on, let me fill this one in just a little bit more. And that's brows. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do if we do one more layer of this. I'm honestly a little nervous because, like I said, it is so wet. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely, I don't know, not what I was expecting from the picture on the package. Being like, boom, bam. I don't know. Also, mascara, though, sometimes you got to give it a second and let it dry a little bit, and then you get a whole different formula, so that may be the case with this. Okay, so I'm currently doing a wear test on the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation, so if you're interested in that, go check out my other video, but let's finish the complexion. So I have a couple products here that I want to try. First of all, Essence, they have quite a few new things. Let me grab them out here. They're getting their dupes on the Charlotte Tilbury type deal. I mean, everybody's had them now. Charlotte Tilbury, Elf, Flower Beauty with these, like, sponge tips. So now we have the Essence versions. We've got Baby Got Blush, Baby Got Glow, Liquid Blush, and Highlighters. Let's try the blush. This is in the shade Pinkalicious. I did already test them. So I will say be careful when you're squeezing these out. They come out a heck of a lot faster than you would anticipate. Okay, a little pinkalicious. Oh, it kind of matches the super pink in my shirt. That's very glowy. Let me see. I keep forgetting I don't have like a mirror right here to look at. Oh, that is blending in nicely. I am going to try to build it up just a little bit. Wow, that looks so nice with the foundation. Let's try it on this side. I'm really hoping that like the difference in the sunscreen underneath doesn't change the application or anything like that. Okay, this is something else they had, which I'm not going to be able to use today. This is the Magic Filter Glow Booster. Basically, I think it's their take on, like, the, um, e.l.f., you know, the dippy one. I don't know what it's called. And, like, Juvia's Place, they have this one. Okay, next to it, I'm taking the Essence Magic Filter Glow Booster. This is in 10 light. Oh, I got a lot. Okay, hold on. Let me kind of... Holy cow. Okay, there's Essence, there's Juvia's Place. Guys, if it wasn't for the little bit of a shade difference, honestly, this one's a little bit shimmerier, like glowier. Let's see if it dries down a little bit, what we get there. I would use this as a highlighter, but I actually have a highlighter, so I'm going to come back and use this another time. Okay, way to go, Essence. I really don't see a difference between the two. Okay, so now we've got the Baby Got Glow Liquid Highlighter. This is in Sassy and Silk. Bum, bum, bum. Wow, that's still very glowy. Oh, okay. We can separate that a little bit. Let me put that down so I don't accidentally squeeze more out. Gosh, that's pretty too. Okay, let's compare it. So here is Essence. And I'm going to put it next to the one that I typically use, which is from Flower Beauty. And this is Spotlight Liquid Highlighter in Opal. You guys, again, other than the shade, if you're pasty, honestly, Essence is lighter than the Flower Beauty. Wow, I think these were coming in at $6, too, like all three of those products. So, definitely, if you were like, oh, I always wanted to try these, 
and you didn't want to spend the cash on like the Charlotte Tilbury or the the Elf or whatever. Now what they didn't have was a contour or a bronzer. So I wonder if they will come with out with that eventually. But yeah, these two, those are good. Okay, let's do some concealer. So this concealer, I honestly would just use it because I love the smell. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer, and I have this in the shade Fair to Light. Now what I would say is I would prefer another shade that is less yellow. It's it's yellow. It's very yellow, but it does, first of all, smells amazing. It's got that, oh, I'm on vacation smell. Um, but it spreads very far, which isn't a bad thing, but just be mindful of that when you're applying because holy moly, it spreads. So I actually do like using the tip on this to get like that initial blend to kind of place it. It works really well. It's got a nice like bounce to it. I tell you what I want to try is the, uh, Aquaphor trick on your under eyes that scar that Scott Barnes has been doing. Oh, I should have done a side by side before I did both. Sorry. I wasn't thinking, but it is good. It really does give a glow to your under eyes and I like it except yeah, butter glow. It's, that's exactly what it does. I do wish there was one that was a little less yellow, but it is how it goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and set before I go in with bronzer. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder. I do need to find a powder puff. I, for the life of me, don't know where my powder puff is, and I really would like to use a powder puff. All right, let me go ahead and put on the bronzer. This has been my number one bronzer since it came out. I can't put it down. The NYX Buttermelt Bronzer, this is an all butted up. And for my bronzer, I have been using the e.l.f. Uh, powder blurring brush. Like, do you see how just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous this bronzer is? I love it. I can't put it down and it smells really good. Okay, do I have anything for the lips? I really don't. I don't know. Lips and brows, man. Lips and brows. It's kind of where I falter, I think, in trying new things. Okay, looking at my complexion, it almost looks like the blush has kind of faded. So, I think I could have put more, but I'm kind of, mm, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I'm scared it's going to disrupt since I did put a little bit of powder, but Oh, well, for the sake of science, I guess. Okay, that side looks okay. Mm. Yeah, it didn't disrupt anything, so that's good, but it definitely already kind of faded. But here is the finished face with all the complexion products. I definitely do like these. I see no issue with them. A good price point, especially if you have like a coupon, you can get them cheaper. So definitely check out the Essence stuff. I do want to try next time the uh, magic filter glow getter glow booster from them the eyeshadow is amazing i mean honestly you can't go wrong with color pop every eyeshadow palette i have is color pop and i got these when they had like that three for 15 sale all of the shadows in my professional kit that i've depotted are color pop like color pop they can do an eyeshadow man they can do an eyeshadow the um mascara i'm not too thrilled with it at present but again it might be one that needs to dry up a little bit and then you can kind of see if it does a little bit better i don't know why sometimes mascaras are just that way you have to let them get a little bit dry and then they perform so much better and this concealer this isn't brand spanking new, but I love it. This is what I have been using. If it's not the um, NYX Pro Fix Sticks, it's this one. But I wish there was something that was a little bit less yellow. That's my only qualm with that. So, there is a full face of trying out some new products. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these or do you plan to try them now? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.